Hello everyone, Kels here, and welcome to another Old School RuneScape video. Today, the Hard RD Diary. For this set of tasks, you can expect to visit these locations. Feel free to pause if you would like to screenshot this map. For the level requirements, you need 56 Agility, 50 Construction, 53 Cooking, 50 Crafting, 70 Farming, 53 Fishing, 5 Fletching, 45 Herblore, 59 Hunter, 66 Magic, 52 Mining, 42 Prayer, 60 Ranged, 65 Runecrafting, 68 Smithing, 50 Strength, 72 Thieving, 50 Woodcutting, and 107 Quest Points. For the item requirements, you need an Uncharged Skills Necklace or Combat Bracelet, a Karamjan Monkey Grigri, 2 Earth Runes, 2 Law Runes, 1 Rope, 1 Small Fishing Net, a Palm Sapling, 15 Papaya Fruit, 1 Poison Ivy Seed, a Hammer, 5 Mithril Bars, 25,000 Coins, Shield Left Half, Shield Right Half, 1 Pure Essence, and a Death the Talisman. For the quest requirements, you need to have completed Monkey Madness 1, Legends Quest, Mornings and Part 2, and the Watchtower. Remember to bring some method of transportation to make this slightly faster. So once you have everything ready, let's jump into the tasks. Alright, the time to increase the difficulty of the tasks as we begin the Hard Tier. Our first stop is going to be Yanel, and we are going to smith a Mithril Plate Body. The second task is super easy, all you need to do is have the required magic level. You're going to enter the magic guild, and that's going to be pretty much it. You can actually leave through the left door, and we are going to go slightly north e uh, northwest, uh, rather. And with uh, 25,000 coins as well as 50 construction, you can relocate your house to Yanel, and all you need to do is enter the portal in that location, and that's going to be task completed. For the fourth task, it's going to be super short, actually. All you need to do is teleport to the Watchtower, and you're going to be placed slightly north. Now, you need to go to Tree Gnome Village, go ahead and exit through the gate, follow the gnome, and the next task is going to be checking the health of a palm tree. As with all of the farming tasks that I'm going to have, I am obviously only going to plant the thing that we need to take care of, go ahead and pay the farmer to ensure that your thing is going to grow, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's going to be the thing with the with the farming tasks. I am going to show you where and what to plant, but in terms of you know actually waiting, that's uh, that's actually on you. <laughs> okay, so the next one is going to be catching a red salamander. Super easy here near the Orunia altar that you know if you have a ring crafted. Next, we are going to go to a bank, and because I forgot my cape, and we are going to go to the monastery to pick poison ivy berries. Very very nice. For this next one, we are going to teleport to RD once again. And for task number 8, I believe, we are going to have a zookeeper put us in the monkey pen. You obviously need a uh, a, a Karamjan monkey Grigory in order to, you know, get put in there. Just go ahead and exit either by talking to one of the zookeepers or teleport, so that's your call. Whatever you have the most fun with. And for the next one, we are going to go upstairs in the Arty Castle, pickpocket these doors, and then uh, search for traps here at the uh, in the chest. And you are going to be kicked out because you are a filthy thief. Next, we are going to go right back to Arty, kind of defying the loss, and we are going to go back to dangerous territory. And we will go to the western part of West Arty, in which we are going to create a dragon square shield. As you can see, this um, uh, this task is marked as RNG only if you're a, 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 if you're an Iron Man, because if you you obviously don't have the Grand Exchange, then obviously the shield left half is going to be uh, obtained through a monster drop, which is fairly rare. For this next one, we are going to craft some death runes. Now, if you look at the map, I marked the entrance of the uh, of the mourners. Uh, guild or whatever you want to call it because there is a way to go to the death altar without necessarily going to the uh, to the wilderness and if you're a hardcore iron man i am pretty sure you want to avoid this place like the plague and for this last one we are going to recharge some jewelry uh here at the totem either a skills necklace or a combat bracelet and if you're an iron man you uh you need to get this by either making it yourself or from getting lucky with an elite chest so that's pretty much it
Once done, go to the NPC named Two Pints in the eastern part of East Artie inside a building called the Flying Horse Inn to claim the rewards. You will obtain the Artie Cape 3 which provides unlimited teleports to the Artie Monastery and 5 daily teleports to the farming patch north of Artie. You will also obtain a lamp worth 15,000 experience and finally all of these other benefits shown on screen. And that's pretty much it. If this video was useful in any way, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more guides. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you soon.